How do you prepare for a game like this when you don't know who's starting at running back? Well, they play all all three guys, and put, you know, if Robinson's there, I'm sure he'll play. So they all got more than five carries last week. They use them all. Um, the, the plays are pretty similar, I would say. I didn't really notice anything else. They just they executed really well last week in a run game. Got those guys in some space, and you know, they're all able to use their skill sets, whether that's their speed or or strength. You bet. Ron Rivera and like his coaching style. What are some of the traits that you can expect from a Ron Rivera team? Oh, I think they're disciplined, they're tough, they're physical. Um, you know, I think they've been behind in games. I think they want to run the football. I think they want to use Carson's you know, arm strength and to be able to to move the ball down the field. I think they would like to do that. And I think some sometimes the way that the game has went you know, has forced them to, to go in a different direction. So, you know, all things considered, if the game is you know, where it is most of the time that they want to run the football and use the play action and get the get the uh, ball in a skill set the players their hands what they have skill which is a lot of them defense is you know aggressive they're they're physical you know they're good tacklers uh, throughout the secondary linebackers and run and you know, d-line is very good you mentioned the physicality I mean, does a lot of that come from their defensive line and what type of big of a challenge is that huge challenge huge challenge i mean they get Got dudes in there, you know what I mean? They, they go down to the SEC and they, they pick guys in the first round, and you know that's some, that's what they look like. You know what I mean? They're able to penetrate. They're able to play with their hands, shed, you know, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and you know it'd be important that we you know do everything that we can to get the run started and, and try to protect the quarterback. How's Mario Edwards been acclimating now that he's been here for a little while and playing so much in the Indy game? Yeah, I, mean, I think good. I like coaching him. I, I know that he's you know, trying to do things that we're asking him to do. And uh, so hopefully he can continue to help us. That chemistry that he and, and Archery have, is that something, you know, as a player, you know, when you played, is that something that, you know, really benefits that much more in the stunts and those different things? I mean, I think potentially. I think that there's a, you know, comfort level that probably uh, goes on. And, you know, you may be easier to communicate with a guy. And, um, you know, so I think anything that, any relationship is a good one that, that they can have to help him. Have you seen his presence kind of help Autry open up? He's opened up more to us uh, over the last week or so, so I wasn't sure if you know, you've seen that. I, I think he's enjoyed having him here. You know, I, I really enjoy coaching Danico and who he is. I mean, he cares about this team uh, a lot. You know, He wants to do well for us, and so you know, we'll continue to, to find ways to hopefully you know, get him to, to – to do those things, and and we've mentioned it. You know, May puts a lot on himself to, to do well and to perform, and so uh, lead all of it this week.